been talking with a lot of companies this week that are working on vaccines or antidotes. What role are you playing in helping to find a vaccine uh, against the coronavirus? Well, our company, Dyadic, is, is not looking to find the vaccine. We're looking to produce it at much larger volumes at lower costs so that when actually there's a cure and a treatment, because it's both, you need to find a cure and a treatment, is we can make it in large volumes and affordably so that more people than less can get it. So almost like taking millions of dosages into billions. And as you're talking about how more people could have a potential to get this vaccine, I want to bring some breaking news here. China is now saying that coronavirus death toll has now risen to at least 257 people. And the province where the breakout was reported is now reporting now about 45 deaths uh, as of January 31st. What's different about this disease after you've studied other diseases? Is it the rate at which it's spending, uh, spreading? Is it the death rate? What stands out to you when you examine this? Well, we've been involved in a four-year-plus program called ZAPI in Europe, and there's six institutions that are part of that group that have been studying the corona coronavirus, MERS, SARS, et cetera. So these things mutate, and I think that's the biggest problem is they've been looking at the coronavirus and different versions of it. And in this particular case, they're trying to identify what the gene is that we can actually mass produce the product from, both from a vaccine to vaccinate people and then ultimately a treatment, which would be an antibody. And in our role in that group, which we've been involved in, in the ZAPI program is to be able to make it quicker, faster, and cheaper, but ultimately so that you make enough, you can actually treat people. And as you point out, if it spreads and there's really an epidemic and a pandemic, it could be millions of dosages that are needed, or hundreds of millions in China. There's, what, 1.3 billion people in China? So if you had to vaccinate all those people, you better be able to make a lot of this at very affordable levels, or only a fraction of them are going to get treated. When you take a look, we've been having this debate all week, an antidote versus a vaccine. What is a most or a more effective treatment? Well, I think, obviously, if you can prevent it in the first mm -hmm. place, that's better. Uh, but then of course, you can't do that in these cases because these things mutate and it's a whole new disease, right? And so you have to be able to treat it. And the health workers or the healthcare workers, the doctors, the nurses, they're going to get infected by being there. And so you need to have both a way to prevent and treat. And so what we've been doing is working on a faster, quicker way to address the problem with this group in, called Zappi in Europe. And there's 20 people involved in that group, including Bowringer, AstraZeneca, which are major pharma companies academic institutes and of course our role is just to produce this whether it's a vaccine or an antigen for the Schmerlenberg virus which we did and we produced that at 35 times greater levels than the second place cell line so we're pumping out a lot of the stuff and the goal here is to get partners and we're looking for partners and we're willing to work with anybody on the planet that has a gene that needs to be turned into either a vaccine or a antibody a treatment so that we can actually have products available so when people need it it's there. I wanted to bring another headline as we're looking. Spain, of course, has now confirmed another coronavirus case. This is according to their health ministry. So again, you have China confirming that their death toll rise into 257. Spain confirming a coronavirus case as well, according to their health ministry. As you take a look at all of this, what partners are you looking at working with, uh, whether it be in the U.S. or in the Europe, to make sure that you're able to get it to the most people as fast as possible? Well, as I said, for the last four years, we've been working with the ZAPI program in Europe. For the mm -hmm. last two years, the Israeli government, the Israeli, uh, Israeli biotech research group called IIBR on emerging diseases and threats, whether it's pandemics, epidemics, or bio threats. We have to be proactive, not reactive. So our company, along with these other institutes and academics and, and commercial companies like the Boehringers and the AstraZeneca's and ZAPI, we're trying to get ahead of the curve so that actually we're there when you need it. Because if you, it's nice to make things in a test tube and get a cure out, but if it treats 100,000 people and you need 100 million doses, that's a problem. And that's what seems to always happen. And to be honest with you, the status quo is not good enough, mm -hmm. and we need to change that. And we're here to disrupt the status quo.